This is Larry Anares making your day. With the first part of Rina Jimenez David's article entitled, Misogyny Kills. And we quote, Mass shootings in schools, in movie houses, in workplaces, churches in the United States and elsewhere, including the Philippines, have become so common and frequent that we give them but a few minutes notice before changing the channel and moving on to the next Cardassian wedding. But the story of the shooting spree allegedly committed by Elliot Roger in a bucolic California university town got more than the usual attention a few days back. Maybe it was because we were watching CNN with my sister Chona and her husband Willie, who were visiting from San Diego with the drive-by shootings apparently preceded by the killing of three young men in the apartment of the suspect taking place in the same state, they were expectedly curious, interested, and alarmed because the killings transpired so close to home. Even without the California connection, though, the killings were especially chilling. The suspect, Roger, had apparently driven his car through the streets of Isla Vista in search of members of a college sorority, all of them blonde, whom he perceived as mocking him for refusing to go on dates with him or even give him the time of day. Though his parents had previously reported their concerns to law enforcers, police who had been called to the family home some weeks back said they found a perfectly polite, kind, and a wonderful human when Roger met them at the door. But apparently, beneath his affable exterior, the young man hid a personality seething with resentment against young women and the young men they apparently favored over him. More about this after these messages. This is Lara Henares making your day with the first part of Rina Jimenez David's article entitled Misogyny Kills, and we continue to quote. In a commentary, Jessica Valenti declared the characterization of Roger as a madman, arguing that it ignores a stark truth about our society. Misogyny kills. The reports say Roger was seeking retribution against women, apparently members of his sorority who had sexually rejected him after stabbing three young male acquaintances in his apartment. Roger got into his car and began trawling the streets of the town, killing three more people and seriously wounding seven others. He then turned his gun on himself. Before going on his deadly hunting mission, Roger made YouTube videos where, says Valenti, he complained that he was a virgin and that beautiful women wouldn't pay attention to him. In one, he calmly outlined how he would slaughter every single spoiled, stuck-up, blonde slut I see. Roger's family says he has been seeking psychiatric help but to attribute his actions merely to his mental instability, says Valenti, not only stigmatizes the mentally ill, who are much more likely to be victims of violence than perpetrators of it, but glosses over the role that misogyny, which means hatred of the opposite sex, and gun culture play, and just how foreseeable violence like this is in a sexist, society. More tomorrow, my dear friends. This is Larry Nares making your day, saying good day, God bless you. Thank you very much for being with us. Till next time, hasta la bye-bye.